One of the hardest working parts in a PC when it comes to the more graphics intensive video games is of course, the graphics card. Well my PC has been struggling a little bit lately and I've got something right here to get me back on the right track. Hey guys, it's Robbie here from M-Wave and today we're going to be unboxing, installing and talking a little bit more about this graphics card here. It's a Galaxy GeForce RTX 3090 Hoff Limited Edition. Alrighty, let's have a look at exactly what's included. Obviously we have the uh, Galax RTX 3090 and we'll definitely come back to this one. And we have the Hoff Panel 3 as well, which is an LCD display, which shows system specifications in real time. So we have a GPU weight support bracket as well, which is always really good for really heavy graphics cards. So we have a three eight pin PCIe uh, cables as well, which will match the color of the GPU, which is nice, inclusion. And we have two micro USBs as well. So this is a USB type A for an uh, external connection and a USB 2.0 header connection for your motherboard. So if you do want to connect the Hoff panel uh, internally, we can use this one here. We also have a ARGB sync cable as well. And lastly, we have a feature guide and an installation guide. My 2080 Super back at home is by no means a bad graphics card, but we're still looking at a pretty big jump in terms of performance with this beast of a graphics card right here. We're just under 10,500 kudo cores and capable of reaching boost clock speeds of 1868 MHz. This card features Nvidia's new Ampere architecture, second gen ray tracing cores, third gen tensor cores, and 24 gigs of GDDR6X memory, along with Nvidia's DLSS to boost frame rates even further. Now there is an LED indicator on top as well, which will indicate when one of the PCIe cables is not connected properly, which is always nice to have. As for cooling, there is three winged fans with 11 blades at the bottom. The outer ones are 102 millimeters in width and the center one is 92 millimeters. Something to note as well is that the center fan actually has RGB on it, which is always a nice touch. Now it's such a powerful graphics card, there is a good chance that we'll have more than one display and this card's got us covered. It does actually have three DisplayPort outputs and one HDMI as well. Now below the IO, there is actually a hyper boost button as well. What this will do will actually boost the fans to work at maximum capacity. So if we're heavily overclocking or just under heavy load, it'll improve the cooling of the card. On the top of the card as well, there is a dual BIOS switch. So what this one will do, will allow the user to switch between two settings in the BIOS, one being the default settings and one being a silent option. As for the build of the card, it does have an aluminium cover with polygon shaped pattern in the design as well. Finally, by using the ARGB sync cable, we can actually connect the GPU straight to the motherboard and sync the RGB with the rest of the system. So if you'd like to find out even more about the Galax GeForce RTX 3090 Hoff Limited Edition, then we'll leave some links below this video. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.